After China congratulates corrupt Joe Biden on an election win, they begin flooding the airwaves with messages for him on how their relationship will go if he were to enter the White House. Joe Biden has already sold out the United States to benefit his family. Now China wants him to sell out America to benefit China. You're listening to the Closet Conservative Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Closet Conservative Podcast. Eric's out today, so this is Jared Dyson filling in for him. China congratulated Joe Biden on his media-declared victory in the election on Friday. And a lot of mainstream media outlets were trying to make this sound as though it was a delayed response from China. Or perhaps this was telling the real story of China and Biden's relationship. Trump has often touted that Joe Biden and China were tied very closely, and, and they were trying to indicate maybe this is showing that Joe Biden and China are not as close as they they would like to think. But none of this is true. In fact, the, the foreign ministry uh, spokesperson that spoke really didn't say Biden had won. The, the spokesman from the Chinese foreign ministry congratulated Biden and Harris, but he also went on to say that they understand that the election will be determined according to U.S. laws and processes. So it's really not the message the mainstream media wanted. Unlike the Democrats, China realizes that there are laws surrounding the election and that until those the cases that are in the courts are resolved, the election is not final. But I don't want to deal with that so much, you know, in regards to the Chinese congratulation of Joe Biden, as I do with an article that I read that came out soon after in a Chinese newspaper. The article came courtesy of the South China Morning Post, and the title of the article was Joe Biden's America Needs to Learn from the World, Not Vice Versa. So that caught my attention, and I said, well, that may be something worth reading. The article goes on to highlight what is referred to as failures of the Reagan mindset. So the, the author says that there is a such thing as a good government and that America needs to U-turn from the mindset that government is not good. The author advocated that America needed government because America needs to learn to stop thinking of itself as the leader. They need to stop thinking of themselves as the one who is the price setter, but rather the price taker. In other words, Americans should be happy with what others are giving us Not that we would want to seek to create things for ourselves or seek to have a better life. We should be happy with what we're given. The suggestion was also made that we should send our young people to other countries to learn how government works and how we can make ours better. To send our young people to let them indoctrinate them, to show them how great communism and these socialist ideas that the Democrats have paraded, to show how great those things are. The writer continues saying that how those governments handled COVID-19 should be an example for Biden. Now, this is probably a great time for me to remind you this is the same area that is implementing fines and prison time for avoiding mandatory COVID-19 testing. Not that you want a test, not that you seek a test or you're symptomatic. They're forcing you to take a test, and if you avoid it, you can go to jail. The suggestion is also made that Americans should accept being number two in the world that we should no longer believe in American exceptionalism or American greatness and have pride in our country. And the author says that the only way to prevent another Trump-like term would to be make such changes right now. Now I want you to think about this for a minute. We know the relationship that Joe Biden has in China and his family has made millions in China. He's, he's sold access to the White House. He has sold out his, his interest as the vice president to make his family millions. He's been corrupt. He's not functioned with American interest in mind. So I guess my question is, is this author proposing Chinese propaganda and demands for a potential President Joe Biden? Are these official Chinese demands for a Joe Biden administration? Are we watching China tell Joe Biden how to lead? Because it's very evident Joe Biden has no clue what he's doing. It's very evident Joe Biden is going to be easily influenced by those around him. We, we talked about that at the Liberty Loft earlier in the week, talking about how Kamala Harris and all the progressives are saying they're going to easily influence Joe Biden. China's obviously grasping onto that thought as well. America has transitioned our focus from being a nation that is focused on our freedom to one that is more interested in government. And I'm not saying all Americans, but in, in a general sense, we've, we've become focused on this progressive movement. 
And I, I believe that the majority of Americans do not want that. I believe the majority of the Americans are rejecting that. And we saw that in the election. This movement by America has come at the hands of radical left-wingers who continue to tell us that we need government. They tell us what we do and, and do not need. They tell us what we should and should not do. They're the ones out here telling us how to live our lives. It comes from an Obama administration who was willing to bow down to world leaders rather than stand up for American pride. We will not accept a role where government tells us what we do and do not deserve. We will not accept a role where government's, tell, government's telling us what we can and cannot have. That's not America. This writer is advocating for America to accept communism, where government runs it all. That we should give up on our hopes and dreams, give up on the American dream, give up on the things we want in America, in the, our love of freedom. We're not going to tolerate a government that controls our lives. Americans, as I said a moment ago, we just went out and voted, and you saw Americans firmly reject the progressive movement. If Americans had supported it, you would have seen that big blue wave that Democrats were projecting. They thought they had this election in the bag. They thought they had Americans that were supporting this move to communism and socialism. But that's not the case at all. Americans showed that we're in a unique place. Sure, the left has tried to transition our country. They've brainwashed the youth of our country. They've tried to push us to the progressive way. Yet there are still enough patriots that we're out here holding on and we're saying we're not ready to give up on our freedoms just yet. I hope you'll take a moment to go find The Jared Dyson Show wherever you may be listening. It airs multiple times each week and can be found on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, all the social media channels. Just search for The Jared Dyson Show. Eric will be back here again next week. We've got a lot of great articles coming out over the weekend over at the Liberty Loft. We hope that you'll check those out at thelibertyloft.com. I hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Please remember to give a five-star review and share our podcast with your friends. The Closet Conservative Podcast is a production of the Liberty Loft. Copyright, the Liberty Loft, 2020. You can find more shows and information on our website, www.thelibertyloft.com, or any of our social media channels.